let's really be honest about who is and who is not a culture vulture. I don't do no tricking. I need a whole chicken. I sneak a whole stick in the club and I get the cold clicking. We can settle the grievance. I'm smoking medical sealers. A six eight six six. Bitch, better pledge your allegiance. Niggas be guilty of treason. I send a word in the credence. It's my shoot at the regions. You niggas better go work on your defense. You know What's up, everybody? It's your girl, B. Octavia, and I am back with another video. Welcome to my channel. My name is B. Octavia. I'm 23 years old, and I am from Washington, D.C. If you are new to my channel, all of my content is from a real perspective, real point of view. I'm talking about what's going on in today's time, and I'm talking about what happened back in the day. Now... I have different segments on my channel. One segment would be Real Talk Tuesday. That is every Tuesday I give y'all what society's issues are today. Today's segment is Schooling You. In this segment, I want to talk about a lot of different things as far as race goes, as far as different cultures go, and just overall educating people who really don't know about these things but want to speak on them and today is a very special episode of schooling you this is going to be the introduction into february which is black history month i am black if you couldn't tell i am black i am proud i want to educate people not only on the resilience of black people, the educated aspect, whether that be all the way back in time, Harriet Tubman, whether that be Madam C.J. Walker for creating hair care products for the black woman specifically. But I also want to shed light on the dark parts of our culture. I also want to shed light on those who feel as though that they can steal from the culture and steal own their whiteness or their not being black. Today's episode of Schooling You is what is a culture vulture? Now, I have many, many, many videos calling out different people on culture appropriation and being a culture vulture. And this is not what Dame Dash was you know what I'm saying? In his deposition, he was calling the person who was asking him questions about his child support situation, the payments not being paid, and he called the person who was asking him the questions, a culture vulture. Speaking now, okay? The testimony is reflected in the culture transcript. The this is not the same. He was not right. I just wanted to put that out there because a lot of people seen the deposition, and he used the word culture vulture, and it wasn't in the right context. But... Anyways, we are going to use the word culture vulture and I'm going to give you guys my definition and I'm also going to give you guys the people in time that are known culture vultures. Whether you know it or not, these are the people who tried to or did steal swag from the black slash hip hop culture and ran with it but couldn't really finesse it the way that we do. And they oftentimes came under fire for trying to steal from the black culture. So I'm just going to get into it before I start naming names. The definition of a culture vulture would be a culture vulture, my friends, is a person who is of the non black descent, and that could be Asian, that could be white, just about any other race other than black. A person who is non-black that goes to a different level or degree of obsession over another culture, another race, other than their own. So, while we're saying what the definition is, let's go back in time. Let's really be honest about who is and who is not a culture vulture. Elvis Presley. Elvis not only stole multiple songs from African American musicians, the dance moves that everyone was so fascinated about that he would do literally reminds me of 
a knockoff James Brown performance. You're really trying to have the same essence on stage doesn't work. And as I said, stealing African American musicians music, but it just can't be done with the same finesse. So I'm calling Elvis Presley out. Next, we are going to move on to Vanilla Ice. And this one is one that is very grand because Wallow on Million Dollars Worth a Game, he said that Vanilla Ice was one of the best white rappers, right? I gotta get my boy in there. Oh, oh Vanilla Ice. Okay. Man, right. shut up, man. man, shut up, man. This is my thing about Vanilla Ice. I'm not going to say that the song wasn't decent. You know, the Ice Ice Baby. I'm not going to say that it wasn't decent. But your attire, your sound, you're trying to get comfortable within the hip-hop culture. And what happened? Suge Knight really made him sign over his rights to that song by hanging him off of a balcony. He had me look over the edge, show me how high I was up there. I needed to wear a diaper on that day. <laughs> you wanting to jump head first into the hip hop industry and you have no idea that there are sharks in the water? Well, Okay, and in this scenario, the culture vulture gets ran away from the music business. We ain't gonna talk, you know what I'm saying? Cause he doing good now. But you weren't strong enough. You were naive. Yeah. And you really thought that there would be some longevity in this only because you're white, you thought MC Hammer, oh, this can only happen to a black man. No, it can happen to a lot of different men in different ways. And it happened to you too. So, let's move on. This is not to say that you shouldn't be educated on other people's cultures. This is to say that maybe if you are honing in on and being obsessive over another culture is because you're a culture vulture. That's what's to say about this. We can say the same for Ariana Grande. She has been called out not only for appropriating the black culture, she has actually been called out for appropriating the Japanese culture. Kim Kardashian the corn road wigs the braids in her actual hair i remember seeing a clip on keeping up with the kardashians which nobody watches anymore that kim was cutting the braids out of her hair because everybody had something to say that wasn't the first time that she was wearing the braids like this i just don't understand why you can't say yes i got my inspiration from a black woman and if people feel uncomfortable with this i'm sorry about that kylie jenner while in the same family or you know monarchy or whatever you want to call it as Kim Kardashian, Kylie Jenner has been called out for a numerous things. And I feel like it's the same things as Kim is called out for, but Kylie just continues to do it in a way that is very much more ignorant. She really wants everybody to believe these huge hips that she has now is from simply having a baby. That's not how you get that. That's surgery, that's hip implants, that's a lot of recovery, that is cultural appropriation. You're so wide now compared to when you were 16 years old and you are of European descent. You're white, you're white. No, 
No. Your body is incapable of growing to that size in one place like that and quote unquote perfectly with just genetics. You want to look like a black woman down to the way your face is structured now. The reason why all of these people are culture vultures is because they don't understand where society is coming from and rather than understanding where they're coming from they make excuses for what they do and that is supposed to be it we can settle the grievance i'm smoking medical sealers a six a six six bitch back pledge your allegiance niggas be guilty of treason send a word in the credence my shoot at the regions. You niggas better go work on your defense. You know 